This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review and this is the Sprint HTC Touch Pro. This is the keyboarded cousin to the HTC Touch Diamond on Sprint. It's got the same VGA display and touch flow interface and it adds full five row keyboard. It's a very large, very easy to use keyboard. The keys are not hugely domed, yet they feel easy to use. They've got a good texture on them. You don't slip off and they're large. The device automatically switches to landscape, as you've noticed, when you slide open the keyboard. And that's a nice touch because with the original HTC Touch Diamond phones, they pretty much only operated in portrait mode, save for a couple of selected applications like the YouTube player. This has a micro SD card slot. There is no 4 gigs of internal storage as there is with the Diamond. It's nice, it's more flexible. You can swap in cards. Obviously, there are cards higher in capacity. Card slot is under the back. You don't have to take the battery out, but you do have to take the back off. And here's your card slot right here. You've got the TouchFlow 3D home screen here that shows your calendar, your call history, the time, and other useful information. It'll actually show you appointments down below if you have any. It's a new phone, so we don't have any here yet. And you can scroll through to Sprint TV, the music player, the video player, settings, program launcher, all the stuff that we've already seen on the Diamond. So we'll take a look at the weather application. It's always popular with folks. You can keep track of six cities here, scroll through them, get a five-day forecast. And if you hit more, it opens up the web browser and takes you to a website that shows you the full lowdown on the weather. You can hit the home button at any time to go back to the main screen. We've got email here. You can have multiple accounts show up here and they'll show up as cute little envelopes for each individual message that's come in. Here's the internet browser. This launches Opera 9.5, a very good mobile browser that's great with the VGA display and you've got shortcuts here that you've saved down below to websites and the YouTube player. Let's check out YouTube. Here's YouTube. We're just going to pick a random video. This is over Sprint's EVDO network. Plays in landscape by default. Very nice, very sharp, very clear. Really beautiful screen. So let's take a look at the GPS. This has Sprint Navigation. If you get one of their everything plans, the navigation is included. It gives you turn by turn directions and all that good stuff. GPS did manage to get a signal indoors near a window on a sunny day. That's not too bad. And we'll just have it find our current location. This is a warm start. We have run the GPS previously. You can also do things like search for points of interest. Businesses, for example, we'll just look for gas station near our current location. Downloads data over Sprint's EVDO network. And it gives you the phone number and the address, and you can get directions to it. You can just see it on the map. You can get reviews of the gas station. More useful, obviously, for other kinds of businesses than for a gas station, but cool nonetheless. And you can pan around on the map. And that's the GPS in a nutshell. Let's take a look at Sprint TV next. Those of you who are already Sprint customers are probably familiar with Sprint TV. They have quite a few streaming TV channels on here, content. What's nice about the Touch Pro is the VGA display. The only drawback is that they're probably streaming these videos in QVGA resolution, so they are stretched. 
So here's Sprint TV at the list of channels. We're just looking at the standard channels right now. You can select one, then see a selection of sub channels. We'll just pick a random video. And the accelerometer works in the Sprint video player. It depends on what channel you choose. Some things are in widescreen, they fill up almost the entire display, and other things are obviously 4x3 like that, and you get borders on them. Now we'll take a quick look at the camera. This is a 3.2 megapixel camera with an autofocus lens, just like the Diamond on Sprint. Launch the camcorder or the camera, you just press these icons. There is no dedicated camera button. Kind of a bummer if you're into really fast, spontaneous, impromptu shots. Take a picture of our GSM diamond. Focus time is pretty fast. And after you take a picture, it shows up on the photos and videos screen and you can flick through your pictures. Speaking of the touch diamond, this is the GSM version. right here for a size compar comparison. They're very similar in size other than the thickness. Obviously this one's got to be thicker because it has the keyboard. 